something to work on our um, work sock cut cozy a little bit more. I have not quite finished my two and a half inches, but I did want to make another video to talk about a few things. What we're doing in this project is um, ribbing. It's called ribbing. If you have a, a sweater, sometimes you'll have ribbing at the cuffs around your arm to help hold the sleeve on. And um, it's just a good stitch because it, it, um, it brings the, the, the fabric in tighter. And it, this will make a perfect cup cozy because it will squeeze around the cup and stay on. Now, <clears throat> when you do ribbing, in this project, we're doing knit 2, purl 2 ribbing, which is sometimes called 2x2 two two ribbing. And it just means you have two knits and two purls, two knits, two purls, two knits, two purls. Um, sometimes you'll have one by two ribbing, one knit and two purls, one knit and two purls. Or you'll have three by three ribbing, three knits, three purls, three knits, three purls. So um, sometimes you'll come across a pattern, a lot of free patterns. They don't go into description to tell you knit two, purl two. They'll just say knit for 10 inches in 2 by 2 ribbing. So now you know what that means. It just means knit 2, purl 2, knit 2, purl 2, 2 by 2 ribbing. Now, um, after a while you're not going to have to think knit 2, purl 2. You can look at your stitches after a while and you can see uh, which ones are knits and which ones are purls. The way I look is I see this little V under my knit stitches and I see this um, looks like a, a little knot kind of thing and that means it's a purl stitch. So everywhere I see the smooth V's I know it's a knit and when I see my little bumpy ridges I know it's a purl. So um, I don't have to really think knit to purl to. I can just read the stitches because you're going to be knitting the knit stitches, the purls, I mean the, the smooth ones, knitting the smooth ones and then you're purling the pearls. You're purling the little bumpy things. I call those little bumps a pearl because <laughs> it kind of looks like a pearl, like a little bead. And then you knit the smooth ones and you purl the little ones with a little pearl on them. So that works for that. Now there's another little tip I'd like to tell you. Some people will add stitches um, by accident and one of the ways they do it is they sit their project down in the middle and then walk away and go take care of something and then they come back and they don't know if they were going this way or if they were going that way. And sometimes they just get confused. So what you need to do is look at your yarn where it's coming from, that needle on the right should be on the right and that's where your yarn is coming from. So if you turn it around this way, you'll see the yarn is on that side. It needs to be coming from the side you're working, so just turn it around and that way you'll have it on the right side. Some people have added stitches because they started going back the other way and then it, it gets the, pro the project lopsided. So that's just another little tip. Another thing for free. Anyway, so just keep on doing your 2x2 two two ribbing until your first section is 2.5 inches. And I'll see you back here. Talk to you soon. Bye.